Back in the 1800s, three Parisian brothers started a modest jewelry business in the hopes of turning a meager profit. Almost 200 years later, their brand, Cartier, is one of the most valuable luxury brands in the world. Celebrities and socialites are often pictured wearing Cartier's distinctive bracelets and watches, most of which cost at least $5,000. But the question remains, why is Cartier so expensive? The story of Cartier starts in 1847, when Louis-Francois Cartier took over his father's jewelry workshop. The French Revolution was ravaging France, and there was little demand for expensive items, which would mark their wearer as an enemy of the revolution. Nonetheless, Louis-Francois wanted to continue his family business. With the rise of the Second Empire, Cartier's business grew over a decade with the opening of the first Cartier boutique in 1859. Louis-Francois's son Alfred then took over the business, moving it to the prestigious Rue de la Paix in the jewelry district of Paris. Alfred's own sons expanded the Cartier brand overseas to London and New York. Since then, the brand has expanded globally, becoming what many consider to be the finest jewelry house in the world. Its clientele has encompassed royalty, film stars and business tycoons. King Farouk of Egypt, the Duchess of Windsor, Elizabeth Taylor, Grace Kelly and Clark Gable all made their way to Cartier to buy their jewelry. So exactly how expensive are Cartier products? Well, their famous love bracelets are mostly priced around $5,000, though models with more diamonds can easily sell for $10,000 and super deluxe versions push $50,000 a piece. Their watches are priced similarly, with price points starting around $5,000 and quickly rising to an average of $25,000. But these are only their common items available on their website. For real connoisseurs, prices can skyrocket quickly for custom pieces. For example, a vintage Cartier emerald ring sold for $275,000 at auction in 2017. Another sapphire ring sold for $355,000, while a pear-shaped diamond ring sold for $530,000. But that pales in comparison to a pair of diamond rings which sold for $1.6 million and $6.2 million, respectively. And these are only their most expensive rings. In 2010, a diamond panther bracelet sold for $7 million and a Le Peregrina necklace sold for an unbelievable $11.8 million. Whether these prices are justified is a topic of heavy debate in the world of jewelry. Certain investors stress caution if you are treating a Cartier piece as an investment. As previously mentioned, vintage pieces in excellent condition can sell for millions of dollars but they are certainly the exception and not the rule. Second-hand Cartier watches can be found online for as little as $500. However, it is hard to argue with the quality of Cartier products. They are still made 100% in Switzerland by master craftsmen, many of whom have a family history of watchmaking going back centuries. Gold watches fetch higher prices than steel ones but the overall condition of the watch plays a significant role as well. And of course, if a particular watch has a verifiable story behind it, then collectors are keen to pay handsomely for it. So depending on which piece you buy and how you treat it, a Cartier bracelet or watch could be a terrific investment. But Cartier, just like Gucci, Louis Vuitton and other luxury clothing companies, rely on destroying their own merchandise in order to create the illusion of scarcity. In the last year alone, they removed more than 500 million euros worth of merchandise from circulation and destroyed it in order to prevent their products from being sold at bargain prices. All the same, this practice is common among all of Cartier's rivals. So how exactly do they stack up against other luxury brands? Well, according to one market research firm, Cartier is the best luxury brand in the world. Cartier ranks highest on an index of the most luxurious brands. Research conducted by Cadence 
found that factors such as heritage and quality resonated the most with consumers as they are determining the luxury position of a brand. While there were a number of global trends, individual markets valued some characteristics and brands more than others. For many, Cartier remains an aspirational brand, still slightly out of reach, and our study showed that aspiration forms a key dimension of luxury," said Greg Clayton, Managing Director for Cadence International London. Equally, Cartier has glamorous, even romantic associations, he said. Lastly, the French provenance of Cartier reinforces the romantic brand image. Cadence's Luxury Index 2018 is based on almost 6,000 consumer interviews across 13 countries. The survey polled consumers on characteristics such as quality, distinctiveness, status, exclusivity, history, timelessness, feel-good factor, and experiential. But in terms of overall valuation, Cartier is far from the most successful luxury brand. Cartier has an $8.192 billion brand valuation, with a 7% growth rate for the past year. And any millennial knows that Cartier's distinctive love bracelet has become even more popular in the last few years. Much of this interest can be credited to a single person, Kylie Jenner. Back in 2016, the reality TV star posted a video on Snapchat of her in a Cartier boutique desperately trying to remove her $5,000 bracelet, explaining, This bracelet has been stuck on for like four years and no one in the store can get it off. She had to enlist a security guard to step in and try to remove the bracelet. The owner of the billion-dollar Kylie Cosmetics, Jenna has become the single highest-grossing influencer on Instagram and can charge $1 million for a single sponsored post. Her interest, in fact infatuation, with love bracelets has generated buzz among her followers, who otherwise may not have known of their existence. The bracelet is slightly different in its shape than your normal bracelet. This is because it was designed in the shape of an oval in order to fit as closely as possible to someone's wrist. It was furthermore intended to be worn by both men and women. The love bracelets were referred to as the modern love handcuffs because they are secured using a screwdriver. Rumor goes that Cartier once had a policy that prohibited customers from buying love bracelets for themselves they could only be purchased by a couple. Nowadays, there is still some sort of unspoken rule that you shouldn't buy a love bracelet for yourself, but more and more people tend to ignore this. The love bracelets originally didn't have serial numbers, but due to a large number of counterfeits, Cartier didn't have any other choice but to start engraving each bracelet with a unique number that is kept on file. So when you buy a love bracelet, be sure to verify that it is real. Of course, the love bracelet is just one of many products sold by Cartier. It is having a moment, but traditionally it was not their highest seller. Not many people know that Cartier designed the first men's wristwatch. Before, wristwatches were only for women. Wealthy men from the high society were only wearing pocket watches. But after his aviator friend complained about the struggle to use it while flying, Alfred Cartier had the idea of a more practical watch, and thus the men's watch was born. Many people are also unaware of the story of Cartier's famous crash watch. The popular Cartier crash has a very odd inspiration. After a car accident, the owner of a Cartier watch brought it back to the store, hoping to fix it up. The watch face was then totally distorted. Jean-Jacques Cartier saw it and had a flash of genius. He decided to recreate this crooked design. He reached his aim in 1967 and started to sell this watch in limited edition. It quickly became a huge success, as proof that the watchmaker was also an artist. The Cartier crash is still a symbol of the company and is highly coveted at auctions. Since the 19th century, Flowers and animals have become part of Cartier's history. Cartier jewelry literally brings petals to life. Sparkling diamond petals as bracelets, brooches or necklaces seem surreal in their brilliance. For the jewelers at Cartier, the reproduction of nature is a creative challenge. 
The collections are characterized by wild animals from Africa, sacred animals from Egypt, and fantasy animals from Asia. And though Cartier has many celebrity customers now, they are not new to the world of royalty and urbane culture. King Edward VII of England dubbed Louis Cartier the jeweler of kings and king of jewelers. In addition, financier J.P. Morgan purchased the first Cartier mystery clock, designed by Coe and shaped like a temple, in 1929. Overall, Cartier has made an indelible mark on the world of jewelry and luxury culture. They painstakingly craft each piece and use high-quality materials and precious stones, which drives the price of their products up. But the real answer to the question, why is Cartier so expensive, reveals the great conceit of most luxury brands. They destroy their own merchandise in order to create the illusion of scarcity and prevent items from ending up on the second-hand market. The fact remains, Cartier is still immensely popular and counts many of the world's most famous and successful people among its customers. In the end, it's up to you to decide whether Cartier jewelry is worth the exorbitant price.